Good morning. We're here with Dr. David Lloyd, who's Dean of Research in Trinity College, Dublin, uh, just after a great uh, TBA business breakfast. Thanks for that, David. Uh, you were talking about the whole theme of innovation. You might just tell uh, the viewers, if you like, uh, how Ireland has performed on its innovation scorecard. Um, on the international scorecard, we, we're actually quite great, well ranked in terms of international competitiveness. We're, we're an attractive nation, uh, we're a good place to locate. We're still expensive. Um, we've got eight years of investment which is ready to be commercialised, and we're poised at that inflection point where we have to make the choices now about how to prosecute it. So, uh, you know, we could do better, it's probably the, the, the summary score. Uh, we're a B at the moment, but we, could, we have the potential to become an A, um, and I think the steps we take in the next couple of months are going to determine our trajectory towards that higher grade. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about the Innovation Academy. You mentioned it this morning. So how that's going to develop, if you like. Okay, the Academy is a joint venture between ourselves and UCD. Uh, it's aimed at fourth level education and it's about producing business aware graduates. So we're offering a joint diploma in innovation for any student that participates in a PhD programme in the institutions can go and do this joint diploma in innovation between Trinity and UCD. We're layering on to the disciplinary base of the student uh, an appreciation of business practices, innovation, creative thinking. Uh, and, and team building. So we produce a well-rounded graduate who will go out and either innovate and create a job or will be a better employee. Uh, four strands, looking at creative thinking, potentially making better people, uh, social entrepreneurship, policy innovation, and then entrepreneurship in its traditional sense. Great. And, and what are the exciting projects on the desk, if you like, at the moment in Trinity that we can see in the next couple of years? Coming through? How long have you got? <laughs> All day. Um, e -health. Uh, is going to be massive. I think that the, the, the convergence of health and ICT is, is, is wholly emergent right now. Um, next generation medical devices, we are looking at how can we sustain what is probably the largest employer in terms of direct investment in Ireland, which is the, the biomedical sector, the biomedical devices sector. So e-health uh, is, is, is first and foremost the convergence of ICT and the health education. We're looking at medical device technologies, next generation. Can we bring our pharmacists, our technologists, our engineers, and our medics together to really deliver the, the, the next generation of drug eluting stents, uh, of, of diagnostics, which are going to have a meaningful impact on, on patient populations? We're looking at the creative culture. We're looking at digital heritage. Uh, can we unlock the secrets of the library to make it a, 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 a real step change in the way people learn, the way people interrogate information? Nanoscience is as hot as it's ever been. Our partnerships with Intel, uh, with the Crown Institute, and the HP are world class. And uh, telecommunications, a, a big, big play to be the, the partner of choice in, in ICT research as it applies to telecommunications. And on top of that, then, we have uh, the, the whole notion of sustainable society itself, where our activities in natural sciences, in engineering, and social sciences would be a benefit to the, the general population. Great. Thank you, David, and thanks for a very engaging presentation. I think it was very well received. So thanks. Good